In the last topic, we looked at ways of identifying what the other person is feeling and making a distinction between what they are feeling and what you are feeling. We'll deal with your feelings a bit later, but for now, we want to also add one extra thing, and that is saying sorry to a person can be a good way of acknowledging that they are feeling something and that they are somehow distressed. If you haven't done anything wrong, then of course you're not saying sorry for your actions, but you are saying, I'm sorry that you are not happy, or I'm sorry this hasn't worked out very well for you. I'm sorry that you are so upset. I'm sorry that you are sad. I'm sorry this has happened to you. Now, saying sorry that way really does acknowledge the other person's emotions. But let's also consider when you have done something wrong, when it was an action of yours that was a mistake. Well, saying sorry can be a very powerful way of restoring a good relationship. And there are five R's to making a good apology. The first one is recognizing that something has gone wrong for the other person. You don't say, if this has hurt you, I'm sorry, because they are telling you it has hurt them. So you say, yes, you are hurt, you are feeling this, you are upset. Recognition. The second R is responsibility. You take responsibility for what you have done. Yes, I did that. Now this is a very powerful way of uh, making an apology when you own your actions. It's quite hard to do because you think sometimes you, you might get punished for it. But mostly we won't get punished. What we do know is the other person wants to hear you taking responsibility for your actions. The third thing is to show remorse. And remorse is really saying sorry. I am sorry that I did that, and I'm sorry that it hurt you. This is remorse. The fourth R is resolving, or reparation. I'm sorry, what can I do to make up for what I've done? If it's a small thing, there may be no need to make reparation. Sometimes it might be just giving a little flower or a gift or something small like that, or even just shaking hands. But other times you might need to pay back and make good restitution to, the, to do that. And the fifth R is repeating. I'm making a promise that you won't repeat what you have done. I've learned something from this and I won't do it again. So there's the five R's for making a really good apology. And this will help a lot in managing the emotions between you and the person who's been upset. Thank you.